What's up? Gabriel, last year you uh, were struggling to get a fight all year long, only got to compete once. Now you're turning it around in like three months. I mean, uh, how, how much better is this for you to, to kind of get this rhythm going? Way better. So excited to be back here again. Second fight at home. First one home in Brazil, second one home here. Excited, bro, excited. To be honest, 2022, I was getting frustrated, you know, because that fight with, with George supposed to happen, never happened. And uh, and I end up that, that's it, 2022, one fight, one loss. And I was just, man, I gotta change that around. And that's it. January 21st, a win. Now, the second fight, April, I'm very happy. I love it. Obviously, you know, every, everybody associates Masvidal with Miami, so I mean, it's, it's a home. But it's a home game for you too, right? I mean, is this still, is this a special fight week for you as well? Yeah, 100%. I got a lot of family, friends, teammates, uh, students, fans, a lot of, a lot of people coming. I'm, I'm excited, you know, for sure. He's born and raised. He might, you might know him for sure. He's going to have a lot of people coming here for him, but I, li I like it. I like it. Talk about the matchup itself, right? Like, I know that you deserve to face number one contenders right now. He's not that in the ranking, but obviously he's a big superstar. So, I mean, does this, did, did the matchup excite you, and is it one that gets you, you know, excited to compete? For sure, for sure. Very dangerous, uh, crazy striking, a lot of knockouts, 51 fights. Plus the ones that, that never went to, <laughs> to, to the record, one, like the backyards ones. So, for sure, very experienced, for sure, not coming from, from, from a win streak, coming from a losing streak, but very dangerous, still very dangerous, especially he's back against the wall, fighting at home, coming from three losses, fighting Gilbert Burns. Yeah, bro, a lot of pressure on this guy, and it seems like he deals good with the pressure. I think he's gonna come crazy, and uh, I'm excited for uh, I'm not seeing an easy fight, and like you said, he's not a top contender, but He's a big, he's a big name, you know. Everyone knows him. Like, if you remember, Leon Edwards got a title shot beating Nate Diaz. That wasn't in the ranking. That wasn't coming from the win. And Nate Diaz is not here no more. I think that other guy is Masvidal, you know. So I like that fight. Big name, superstar, rank it. You know, fought for the title twice. If he beats me, maybe get another title shot. So yeah, I like that fight. You mentioned title shot a couple times, right? I mean, I think everybody's talking about it. We've heard Dana White say, well, Colby's next, but people say, yeah, but Jorge would be a great match if he wins. Gilbert would be a great match if he wins. So I don't know, how much stock are you putting into, like, it's locked up, it's done? Or do you look at this as, hey, I do the right things, and this is the number one contender fight for me? Yeah, maybe. If I do the right thing, if I finish the way I see myself finish, I see the way I can finish, Still maybe, still not for sure. I would, I would love to say, yeah, if I finish, they give me a title shot. But it seems like Scope, you know, so I'm okay with it. If it's Scope, it is what it is. I Give me another fight, I don't care. But I still have a time. I still had a chance to go there Saturday and put a doubt on Dana's mind. And like, Dana, look, I know you like that guy. I don't know what kind of deal you guys have, but shit, look at that performance. He fought this guy for five rounds, he didn't finish. Kamara fought that guy for seven rounds to it, eventually finish. If we get it done in two and three, that doubt's right there. You know, I plant that seed and then we'll see. All right, so last thing for me, I know you're gonna give away your game plan, but I'm wondering if maybe your wife has talked to you. <laughs> not yet, uh, not yet. <laughs> Saturday, she's coming to, 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 to the hotel on Friday. Saturday before the fight, she she comes and she she does her things, you know. So Saturday, well, it would seem to be a fight where you have a grappling edge given your pedigree, right? But I know that inside you kind of like to just go out and throw down as well, right? And this seems like a yeah. guy you could scrap with, right? So is it a hard mental battle for you as as to how you want to approach this fight? Shit, it is. Why are you asking that? Yeah, it is. I wanna I wanna freaking bang with this guy to be honest, but then I listen. That, that's the good thing. I listen to my coach. You know, Henry said that you got to fight smart. I think you're going to do great stand-up, but if you mix with the takedowns a little bit, then the hands going to connect easier. Then this and that. And then the other coach, then my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but then I got to listen to them. You know, they want the best for me, but let's see. Let's see. Something, it, I don't know. I, I cannot say 100% I'm going to do it. One. No. If I see that I... That is an opening on stand-up. Yeah, I will stay stand-up. You guys will see it. 
Gilbert, when you first heard Dana say it was Colby, I mean, there was a few people, like Bilal was really upset by it. Were you upset or do you just kind of go, oh, I guess that's what's going to happen? Yeah, I wasn't upset. I'm, I don't get upset with, with man's decision that, oh, I got mad because Dana, come on, I'm not that guy. Bilal, maybe I'm not. Uh, I didn't get mad because he said that. I think, what I think is, I think... Kobe is very smart, freaking guy, got to give it up to him, he's smart. And if they call me out of the blue, if I'm, I don't know, one year not fighting, and they offer, you want to fight, you want to fight for the title, I'm going to, I'm going to do like Kobe, I'm going to say yes, for sure. And so I was surprised when I saw him at the way as, as a backup, I said, man, freaking Kobe is smart. <laughs> And I say, if Leon wins, he's going to be next. I already thought, if Leon wins, and I thought I was saying that, I think Leon's going to win, I say, Kobe's next. And just to a confirmation from that was a week period of after the fight. Everyone was talking about Kobe. Leon just beat Kamaro. Why are you guys not talking about Leon's performance? It was a great performance. Everyone, everyone's talking about Kobe. I say, Kobe's next. And then it is what it is. I like, I'm not... I, I, I don't want to push no one down to elevate myself. I don't want to hate on Kobe. They, they, hey, you want to fight for the title? Say for sure. So it's not his fault. Like the guy is doing good, and he make everyone talk about him. So he, I don't know if they make him next. He's next. It is what it is. I'm not a complainer. Why? Did, no, I'm not crying about it. Dana's decision. He, he does the best for the company. Yeah, I saw on embedded. Are there new UFC gloves now? Have you got new gloves for the cage? Yeah, the, the, the last five was already, the, the one with the 30 years uh -huh. that I fought in Brazil is already, uh -huh. you, you kind of push your hands down a little bit. Like, still, we still got a couple eye pokes. We just, I just saw an eye poke. Who was that? Uh, Chito, I don't know who, who had a bad eye poke, but it's it getting better. Luv is kind of pushing your fingers down now. Nice. Your prediction of Usman and Leon was pretty much spot on, right? Everyone was even going back and looking at it, being like, wow, he really broke that down very well. So, can you tell us what's going to happen in the main event this weekend, please? <laughs> hey, you put me a spot right there. I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be a very close fight. I like both guys a lot. A lot. Like, uh, I've been a fan of Adesanya. At the same time, says something to me that, that kind of changed uh, for the good, a lot of things on my training. And he didn't say it on a better way, he said it in a very good way. And then I said, oh shit. So remember, he, he kind of did a video watching my fight against Hamzat. And they said, oh, I like Burns on this fight, but he gets hit a lot. And then I'm like, oh shit, like I get hit a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's real. And then I'm like, man, I gotta get better defense again. I gotta get better on my guard. And I'm thankful to him. It wasn't that I took in a bad way. I take in a very good way that a high-level striker saying that. And I say, oh, shit. And then I put a lot of emphasis on that. And then I got a, the last two camps, I got way less hit, like way less. That, that's proper, uh, props to, to, to Adesanya. But I'm Brazilian, bro. If I say, oh, I want Adesanya to win, they're going to kill me. And I want per <laughs> They will. They will devastate me on the social media. Uh, but I like Pereira too. I didn't met Pereira when he fought the first time. I saw him after the Strickland fight. I was at that fight. Bro, and then he was super cool with me. A nice guy too. And then I was with him a couple other times with Monster Energy, with a lot of other events. He was in Brazil with Glover when, we f when I fought New Magni. And those guys are nice guys, like both guys. They're very different, but they're very nice guys. So I think the fight is going to be, I think Adesanya is going to kind of take a charge on the, on the beginning. And he's going to be way more smart trying to don't get hit, movement, great movement, checking the kicks, kicking, but throwing the hands first, don't get blocked on the kicks. That was one thing that he hurt uh, <clears throat> when he kicked a block because it just was just a, a naked kick, he just kicked. I think now he's going to throw more hands before he kicks. Uh, but freaking Pereira is a monster. If he does connect, it might be it. So it's a good fight. I think it's a 50-50. I like the other fight. I want Kamaru to win, but I think Leon's going to win. 
as a is, as a Brazilian, I want Pereira to win, but I think at the same, I don't know why I got a little edge for this fight, a little edge, but I want Pereira to win. Right here, kind of going off of that, I'm sure you've seen Alex around. He's a very large, he's a huge, huge. guy. Huge. So, so when you hear Hamza saying he wants to go up and fight him right away, like you've been in there with him, do you think Alex is just physically just too big for these guys that want to fight him? Uh, seen a match up, like, I think uh, Shimaev thinks he's going to take him down very easy and going to out-wrestle him and finish. That's kind of like the way he, I think he sees it. This guy is so strong, bro. He's huge. I don't know. I think he fought at 218 his last fight against Adesanya. I think he made 185. And the next day before the fight, they, I'm not sure, but I, I think it was 217, 218 at night, like... There's more than T-Bow. Remember Gleison T-Bow? Gleison T-Bow was making 55 and fighting 180, 185. This guy is 218. Wow. I don't think it's an easy fight for anyone. I don't think it's an easy fight for Robert Whitaker. I don't think it's an easy fight for Shimaev. I think Shimaev is, it will be a great matchup because if he does take the fight to the ground, yeah, he might be able to. But I said that in our interview, too. I have a couple coach that I have one coach that kind of helped so much on my game, Saeed Saparov. He's a, a Russian wrestler that he's been at Kill Cliff and he's been helping everybody. And this guy kind of helped me a lot on my takedown defense against Shimaev. And I think I did a pretty decent job. And uh, plus my grappling. But I think if uh, Pereira training this guy a little bit, he's going to get, he kind of gets an understanding of the game and good takedown defense. Oh, that guy got a good take down defense. He's a problem for anyone at 85, at 205. The only thing you will, will think, if you get a good heavy wrestler that can take him down, yeah, okay, now if you get this guy defending the take down, he's scary. He, that dude is huge. He's scary. Well, looking at your fight, obviously Jorge, he comes from the boxing background. He gets a lot of knockouts, not a lot of submission, but he has competed in jiu-jitsu tournaments over the years. So how would you rate his grappling skills? Very good. Underrated. I think his takedown defense is very good. I had to watch that fight with Kobe a couple of times to see it. And if you see, he just took Kobe down the first round because Kobe gave him an eye poke, and then he was able to take Kobe down. And then he got up a couple of times. And on the second round, he was winning, and he was doing very good until Kobe kind of do something in his lip, and then he get on top. So Mike Dow got on top, and then uh, Kobe was able to out grapple him and get on top. So the first two rounds, Kobe didn't took him down. For sure, he did on the first round, but it was because of the eye poke. Second round, he out grapple him, kind of sweep him to the floor. Takedown defense is very good. He can get up very good too. It's tricky on bottom. I saw that Kamaru took him down the first fight. Kamaru couldn't hold him down. He started punching. He got up. He did got up a couple times with Kobe. He's underrated. He's very good grappling and very good takedown defense for Masvidal. And then and I had to dig deep and study a lot and and get a couple guys watching and giving me like, what do you think about this minute? Just look at this minute. Don't look at the whole fight. And it man, shit, I didn't know he could do that. Kind of didn't saw that. And then I'm ready for a guy, very good defending the takedowns, making me taking a bad shots and try to defend the takedown. And whenever the fight goes to the floor, I think he knows exactly how to defend. And, I'm, and I work a lot on his defense to kind of get a different offensive for me too. He was in here earlier, and he said he respected your skill set and what you bring to the table. But he said if he can't beat you, maybe that's it for him. Maybe that's it for his career. He even said it on the countdown. So do you think that's a mistake to maybe already be looking at, like, if I can't beat Gilbert Burns, maybe I need to retire? Mm, that, that's his opinion. I don't, I don't think he's, he's a true fact that he's saying. I think he's just opinion. He just – that guy can talk. I like, I like to listen to him talk. He, he talks good. I got to give that to George. George is a character. And uh, I don't know what to say. I think he, he, I don't know, he thinks whatever he wants. He has his own opinion. I just don't like the fact that a fighter start thinking about retirement, talking about retirement. I just, I don't think he'll retire. I think I'm going to beat him, 
but I don't think he will retire. I think he's making a lot of money yeah. on these fights. He got, I don't know if it before Kamara's fight or before Kobe, something like that, he got a seven deals. When they say seven fight deals, is a good money. When they say four fight deals, is not good. When they say five, okay. When they say six, seven fights, it's a lot of money, my guy. I don't think that guy gonna throw that contract away, say I'm done, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna beat him. He might take a little time off, try to get an easy fight, but he's gonna be the new Nate Diaz on the division. He's gonna be that super fight guy that comes and sell a lot of baby views. I don't think he's done. He, and I don't wish nothing to nothing bad to the guy. I'll beat you and you keep making your money, my guy. It's all, it's all good. The last one for me, uh, this past weekend it was announced Endeavor bought the majority rights to the WWE, so I see you smiling up there. What do you make of this news that you might be co-workers with? Yeah, WWE? that would be nice. I think both are huge companies, they can help each other build even a better, uh, a better marketing for each one. You know, I think UFC can learn so much from the WWE and the vice versa. And it's a good opportunity to slap Brock Lesnar on the face too, right? That, that is a good opportunity. Did you, you ever you met Brock Lesnar? No, I never met. He's lucky I never met him, but... But you want to slap him? I want to slap him because he he kind of pushed DC like that when he came all the way there in the octagon. I, 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 I want to slap him in the face. <laughs> uh, Gilbert, over here, uh, to your left. Um, quick question for you. You know, I, I think Miami, you know, obviously is somewhat of a hometown for you, but fighting Jorge, this might be the only guy that could really be the hometown favorite over you here. Just kind of curious, you know, you're almost minus 600 betting favorite. I mean, you're, that's about as big of a favorite as you've ever been. Just kind of curious what it feels like to be that big of a favorite against a guy that that crowd's more than likely going to be cheering for. Uh... It feels the same. <laughs> it, it doesn't change. You know, those odd makers, sometimes they do a good job, sometimes they do a, a not so good job. But it's good for the fans, you know, go there, go there, make your bets, make your money. I think it's going to be a good fight. I do believe I'm going to finish George Miles down in his hometown. That's why I've been putting a lot of work, a lot of dedication, being way more professional, more commit with my, with my, with my lifestyle, with my training. And, uh, and yeah, I'm. It's gonna be a good night. I'm, I'm happy to be here in Miami representing. Like you said, he's the only guy that can beat me with the crowd right here. But maybe on the beginning. But as the fight's going, I'm, I'm getting better on still the crowd. So it's gonna be a good show. Perfect. And then last question for you. You, know, you. you said you're gonna finish him. How do you see yourself finishing him? I see two ways. I can knock him out, or I can get a submission. It's, it's either one, or maybe a TKO. But it's gonna be one of those three, or KO, or TKO, or submission. I'm, I'm going for it. Durinho, go here. It sounds like uh, from the comments that you're saying, you sort of feel like maybe Jorge is being a little bit underappreciated by the fan base because, yeah, maybe three fight losing streak, maybe you look at the age, but you've done the homework, you looked at the footage, and you see a game fighter there. 100%. The guy's a game. Like I said, 51 fights plus maybe, or maybe 20 more on the street, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's 71 fights. That's a lot of fights. So. Training with high level guys in, in the ATT, you know, like I know his, his teammates, I know all these guys, those guys are good. Good, uh, Matt, Matt Brown, a good guy, a brain guy that does his camp. I think he's he's a game opponent, bro. For oh, okay, he lost to Kamaru, yeah, but Kamaru was pawned for Paul the best. Oh, he lost to Weiss, yeah, but for Kamaru, I lost to Kamaru too. And then, oh, he lost to Kobe, yeah, but. Kobe's a great opponent, so he lost to these three guys and people count him out. No, I'm, I'm not, bro. This guy's very tough, very durable. Uh, he's a dog, bro. Even he lost to Kamaru, but he showed up. I remember I was freaking on a way bad mood watching that fight because it's supposed to be me. It's supposed to be me fighting Kamaru in, in Abu Dhabi. I got COVID. He stepped up. One week, and the guy was a dog. Five rounds, for Kamaru very hard. Uh, for sure he lost the second one, but he's still a dog, you know, that guy is gonna show up. I know people say, oh, he don't train so much, he's older, he come from three losses. He's, guys, I just, I see the completely opposite. Come from three fights, win, win losing, he's losing three fights. His back's against the wall, he's at home. If he wins, a lot to win. If he wins, it's a title shot, maybe. There's a lot of possibilities. That guy's coming hungry. And I'm and I'm expecting that guy come, you know, hungry, coming, trying to finish. 
that's the Georgia Mike Vidal that I'm that I see coming. Not a guy that's 38, that has a bunch of money, that don't want to fight. No, that guy can't fight. That's the guy that I'm waiting. Yeah, and and as you've always said, like the ultimate goal is the belt, right? Yes. But um, as a guy that's a fan also of the sport, was Jorge Masvidal somebody that at one point you wanted to, you hoped to at least cross paths with, just to add to your resume? As you mentioned, you know he's kind of become like a Nate Diaz-like figure, like a big money fight within the division, obviously a veteran of the sport, you just mentioned like 50 plus fights. For sure, I, I, I want to fight George a long time ago. Uh, I was in Cesar Ferreira corner in, I was in Orlando. When Masvidal knocked him out, I was in Cesar's corner. And then Cesar is still one of my best friends, a great friend of mine, and George knocked him out. And I said, man, I got to give that one back to him to Caesar one day, but I was at 55 at the time. And the passing the years, finally we're here, you know, I'll be able to give that one back to my friend. But yeah, I see George as a as a freaking draw. That guy, he's gonna be a sold out arena. PPV points is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be in a great night out event. All the fans should tune in, should get the pay-per-view or should get the tickets and go to the arena. I always wanna fight this guy and I'm, I'm happy that I'm facing this guy. Yeah. And you told me you hate airports? I hate airports. You What's gotta it? be there for an hour, freaking. Sometimes they make you wear the freaking dirty mask again, and full and line and this and that, and I don't like it, you know? So I'm very happy I don't have to go to, you know? I was gonna ask you, what's it like a fight week, no airport? No, the best. Wow, so happy. And even to avoid that, I go very early. If I got in Brazil on a Sunday night, Sunday morning, or Saturday morning. I want to get way early because I want to take the fly out of my system, and I don't have to go. So I'm so happy. I'm at home. I just drove here. I'm gonna stay at the hotel, but maybe Saturday night or Sunday morning. I don't know if Saturday night, but maybe Sunday morning. Just drive back home. So it's gonna be great. You know, I like to stay home. Friends, family, everybody coming, supporting. It's gonna be a great night. I'm excited for Saturday. And lastly, for me, I know a lot of things are up in the air at 170, but what does your heart tell you? What, what do you think will happen? Do you think this will be your last fight before a title fight? Um, if they do give it to Colby, are you going to sit out? I know you like to be active, but what, what do you think is going to happen with you next? I would love to say that's my next one before, but I don't know because, okay, if Colby fight Leon, okay, that's almost a done deal. And Colby beats Leon. They should put a rematch right there, and that is another six, eight months. Right now, I'm saying I want to stay active. If I do enough to get a title shot, perfect. If not, let's get, you know, let's go back to camp. You know, I'm gonna, st I'm living the lifestyle. I'm always training. I'm staying healthy, and let's go back to to, to get another one. Why, why not? You know. Thank you. Eh, Durinho, aqui por favor. É, eu vi que você publicou um vídeo no Instagram em que você usa a nova luva do UFC. Eu vou perguntar em inglês melhor depois. De, depois. É, o que, que você achou da, da nova luva? Isso vai, vai dificultar mais, vai melhorar mais durante a luta? Durante a luta? Vou perguntar em inglês. É, what did you think about the new gloves from UFC, please? Você quer que eu responda em português ou em inglês? Pode responder em inglês. Oi? Pode responder em inglês. Ah, isso aqui é em inglês? Uh, I think it's a great glove, you know? I can see a little bit, makes a little curve, you know? So the other one, you, your fingers naturally stay here. This one, you put the gloves, it slowly kind of push your fingers down. I think it's, it's a great thing. I think that was the same glove that I fought in Brazil. And I'm very happy, you know, like they kind of taking, they doing something to change, you know? That eye poke, man, an eye poke hurt you very much. I had an eye poke in the beginning of my camp and it was, was a hard one, one of the hardest injury I had was an eye poke. And I'm very happy that the UFC is kind of changing the game and get better, you know? So I think, yeah, I love that new glove. Sure, obrigado. Valeu. Good. All right, guys.